Space code forces no GFG POTD okay code forces do not have problem of the day GFG has okay so you are given unsorted array of size n that contains only positive integer find the contiguous sub array that adds to a given number s and return the left and right indexing based on that sub array in case of multiple indexing uh, multiple sub arrays return the sub array which uh, indexes which come first on moving from left to right so note you also return a list containing uh, in case no such array exists then return um, consist of array consisting of element minus one okay so a contiguous sub array you have to find out that adds up to this element right which is 12 so what do you think what adds up to 12 7 plus 5 is equal to 12 right but this sub array can be one of that 2 3 7 this can be one of the sub array okay or uh, or is there any sub array like so you don't have to return the minimum such sub array like 7 5 is minimum such like in terms of length you have to return the sub array which comes on the leftmost point which starts at leftmost point so uh, so which sub array starts from the leftmost point has some equal to 12 so it would be best if 1 2 3 6 7 no no starting from 1 there is no sub array having 12 why because till this point if you go it is 6 till this point if you go 13 so there is no way to get 12 so 2 3 7 yeah this is fine so that is your answer so again the sliding window right and uh, yeah sliding window as soon as your sum goes beyond 12 uh, you will shift your i pointer you got your i and j that should be fine yes or no I think yeah, if you just make this array name a and this s equal to s n and uh, long long s equal to zero. Comment this first man. I s equal to zero plus equal to s j is plus equal to s. Yeah, fine. Let's submit. Let's do a mock interview. Uh, um, minus one only. Okay. I thought like double minus one because width of length two two one.
okay obviously and uh, when equal to y let's submit let's submit if it has positive number then it will be fine if it has negative number then also it will be fine it already has positive number so yeah that's fine okay let's see mock interview okay let's uh, yeah this was a nice problem man. instead of criticalize yesterday's daily need for problem also uh, we will be starting this out uh, spot series soon right like we have already started the spot series just a uh, few more questions i think we have to take uh, over here like I have not taken some of the questions like uh, we we reference to or uh, traveling cost uh, because some of the questions are really like straightforward and uh, let's go for and count MST like I just saw an article about that count MST uh, total number of MST that's somehow a research topic but uh, if you really want to do if time constraints are less uh, but what I mean like if yeah you can the look uh, out for the total uh, no, time for time complexity would be VQ uh, for finding such things uh, like this. How are you follow all the yeah spanning trees? You get all the spanning trees. Uh, how do you get all the spanning trees? Like in the form of matrices, the number of spanning trees eight. Okay, fine. But how, what about axis spanning tree? You're going to calculate the sum of the weight of the spanning trees. Is T one is T two clearly. Total number of spanning trees. Total spanning tree is three. In case a complete graph, uh, regarding works in order of B. Are you sure? Yeah, like in complete graph, order of uh, V is basically the I think the number of edges. Okay, so the remnant of the matrix you can find in order of v cube time and then based on that that will um, you will get the number of this but what to do with number of this uh, okay Let's formula straight for positive integer label what is this is this count of minimum spanning tree that's a really a bit of a research topic but yeah let's do this one uh you are given um v1 v2 uh, the two let us note the starting and ending vertex of the ants root and the second line contains the two integers kp okay uh what this is uh, exactly one integer is to be written on the stand out to the integer is the number of intersecting roots from v1 to y2 containing exactly k as a small p K modulo P edges. Are you saying that like some number you have been given me? I can do K modulo P whatever it is, and then those many edges from basically a integer or modulo P is something which I have to return at the end. So number of intersecting roots from V1 to V2 containing exactly K edges. That's what you need to. You are interested. What about interesting roots? What is it? I got that V1 V2 to vertex where we are trying to go from V1 to V2 and uh, exactly K is this we have to see whether we can actually do that or not but uh, along the edges only okay fine uh, the edges and choice to find out how many ways it can go from one vertex to the another vertex uh, working exactly K edges when and enters an edge it will not turn back it finally reaches the second end of the edge of the edge this not goes through its x times uh, we count this edge x time 
ओके सो मतलब बेसिकली दे कैन गो ओवर एज मल्टीपल टाइम्स एंड एंड वुड लाइक टू हैव एन इंटरसेक्टिंग रूट सो दैट इज इफ द एंड इज इन सम वर्चेक्स इट वुड लाइक टू लीव दिस वर्टेक्स यूजिंग एन एज अदर दैन द एज यूज रिसेंटली यूज टू एंटर दिस वर्टेक्स ओके द ही यूज वन एज टू एंटर द वर्टेक्स एंड देन नाउ ही विल ट्राई टू यूज एन अदर एज अदर देन दिस ओके नॉट Use same edge twice in a row. That's what they mean. Because you can only count using the integer zero to p. Uh, compute the result modulo. <laughs> so given a v one and v two, you have to travel from v one to v two. So that you can go from v1 to any of the neighbor. Then from neighbor, you have all other options coming down, right? And uh, other than the just uh, you have taken one thing, okay? But then this does not mean that this edge cannot be visited again. You can visit this edge, not like just you visit and then you revisit. Okay, that's not how it goes. Oh, there is a. Hello. Yeah, I'm audible. Okay. Oh. Okay. Hello. Can yeah, yeah, yeah. Your voice is breaking. I think. Now is it fine? Now it's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's fine now. Hmm. Not necessarily an login. You can try to do, yeah, even better than that. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm.
Look, if you are trying to generate all possible permutations, so I would like to stop you right here because that is not going to be possible in the, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, see. Yeah. 